if I explain to you why I come to the conclusion of why I particularly do something, you can actually alter it for yourself. Sit there and go, well, you know, Mir said he did it this way because of his hamstring was strong here, and his, you know, he's, he's flexible in this way, but not flexible in that way. And then you can sit there and go, well, I am flexible in this way, but he's not, so I can make that adjustment and still accomplishing the same goal. <clears throat> so that way you're becoming a real martial artist and thinking for yourself and applying movements. Because there's no, I hate when people sit there and tell me that, that's not how you do an armbar. I'm like, all right, they got tapped. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean that's not how you do an armbar? I mean, if you watch sports, you know, a much older uh, sport, uh, boxing, I've never really seen two boxers that look exactly the same. And I hear them always arguing about each other. That's not the way to throw a jab. How am I leading to throw a jab properly? I'm like, I don't know, man, jab the shit out of you. Know, Larry Holmes, you know, had a different type of jab and it was effective for him. But I think it's always about understanding the principles of the technique and applying that more than being obsessed with uh, uh, how it's done. I think some guys really screw that up. They're always constantly like, this is how you do a triangle, this is how you do a plot. I'm like, no, you know, these are the different principles you have to follow. And as long as you stay within that realm and you accomplish the goal, shit, that's all that's about, you know what I mean? And so, uh, I don't think about that. Is there anything I want to talk about that thing? Like, for example, um, <clears throat> like, a, like a submission box, right? Uh, <clears throat> to make any kind of leverage hold, right, really takes three components. This is what really frees your mind and allows you to think outside the box. Is uh, um, it takes uh, a base, which means that uh, whoever I'm grabbing, right? <clears throat> I need three things: a base, who is on the other side of the fulcrum, so your joint, whatever I'm manipulating, and then a lever, right? Well, the longer the lever, the better the base. I have a submission hold now; I can break something. You know, if I had a stick and I jammed it under my car and it was on top of a rock and I push it down, well now the car is the base, it's not moving anywhere. The rock is the fulcrum and the longer the stick, the better uh, my leverage, right? All submissions break down into that. Besides chokes, but as far as any joint manipulation you do, pretty much that's the resounding principle of them all. Um, once you understand that, you don't have to be obsessed with like, well I didn't have a stomach, I didn't have this, and you know, we can obviously the details of things help improve as the better guys you fight. But that's why like, I always kind of just make stuff up as I go with why I'm fighting because, like, for example, a submission knowing at the top, you know, I remember laying down one time and afterwards we went over it and I was on side control and again, this guy was just really controlling himself and holding him and the guy was so powerful he kept putting his feet to his butt, exploding me off, right? Oh, I'm like, man, I cannot hold this guy down. So we're sitting there and I was like, look, and I grabbed his foot and then I pulled his foot. I'm like, oh, wow, look, I have a fulcrum, I have a lever. Got on top of him, so I have a base. He's not moving anymore. Then I grab, squeeze the top of you know, his knee. There's no longer the same. <laughs> but it wasn't that um, it wasn't improper technique, but because I didn't have my mind going, well, no one showed me how to do a submission from this position. Who cares? You know, once you understand two submissions, you can go ahead and open your mind to uh, doing them from all kinds of areas. Make sense, everybody? Yeah. Yes. So that's one thing that um, try not to limit your mind on how things work. You think that, okay, well, this is the way I've shown how to do an armbar. It's not done this way. Obviously, there's certain reasons why things work better than others, you know. There's certain principles you don't want to fail.